Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, and we are back here in Elm Creek. It's been a while since we've been back in Elm Creek, and for a mod. And this one was released today, Wednesday, the day before uh, us Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. A pretty cool uh, set here of greenhouses and nurseries. Actually, one nursery, two greenhouses, and it's by Gwendal. I am not particularly sure if this was in 19. I get the feeling it was, but regardless, it's here for us in FS22, and it's pretty sweet. Um, I've been playing around with it a little bit. One thing I will tell you up front is it takes a little bit of room, which is fine, and it takes some time because these things don't grow overnight, and I mean that literally. Um, production does take a while, but it's but the looks of it is very nice. Let me show you what we have here first in our uh, building area here. So we go to production and we go to greenhouses. And here you'll find the two greenhouses and the nursery. So there's the smaller of the two greenhouses. And that's for your uh, fruits, vegetables, cabbage. And this is the shrub greenhouse, and I'll show you that in a little bit more detail. And this is, of course, the nursery that you can put down as well for bonsais. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very well done as far as the looks go. Uh, we have a bonsai tree here. In fact, if we come over here, this is how the finished products will come out. They come out crated, which is very cool. We have bonsai, cypress, and we've got eucalyptus. And I really like the detail the modder did. Um, Gwendol did a really nice job with just detailing these these shrubs, I guess you would say. One that just hasn't quite sprouted yet. Very cool. Let's go over to one of the two greenhouses. This is the larger of the two greenhouses, the one that also does the shrubs. And it's your basic in-game greenhouse, of course, but instead, this one has bamboo and aloe vera. There's your aloe vera plants. Very handy to have around the house, by the way. If you don't have one, they're generally easy to take care of. Not to go into the old green thumb thing, but they're easy to take care of, and they're super handy um, if you get burned. So consider picking up an aloe vera today. <laughs> of course, and then uh, bamboo. Very, very cool. Again, nice attention to detail. The looks of the plants are fantastic. And we will run over here and take a look at how they look crated. And there's your bamboo crated. There's our aloe vera crated. Nice plexiglass surround on there. Very, very cool. And then let's check out our other greenhouse. Like I said, these things take time. I uh, progressed the game... Uh, I think a total of three days. I think this is the third day. And it took all of two days uh, to start getting some production going on, even on the cabbage and the flowers. Here's our flowers, and they're all boxed up. And here's our cabbage. Very nice, the red cabbage. Go inside the greenhouse like you normally do. Since we're in here, let's just take a quick look at the productions. So here's our bonsai cypress and eucalyptus. Um, uh, what do you call the, not the greenhouse, but uh, the nursery. We've got water and solid fertilizer. That's all you need to start production on these things. And then on the very large greenhouse, you've got tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries like in game. But then he's also added, or she's added, not really sure if Gwendolyn's a he or she, uh, red cabbage and flowers. Again, uh, water, seeds, and fertilizer. And then for our other shrub greenhouse, we've got bamboo and aloe vera, and those also take water, solid fertilizer, and seeds. So not a lot of products needed to get started on these. They are time consuming. However, I believe pricing on these is pretty darn good. But let me show you what I've got set up over here. I did a quick test, and I'm so happy about this. If any of you know my gameplay style, I'm not the best with dealing with pallets and skids and whatnot. But I picked up this trailer, in-game trailer, and 
I did a video on this a while ago, a mod uh, video on this, but pick up the Universal Auto Load mod um, from Loki. It's uh, in game. Unfortunately, it is PC and Mac only. Uh, but if you are on PC or Mac, pick up this Universal Auto Load mod and the Universal Auto Load extension because it will make your life a little easier for picking up all these trees and crates and boxes and whatnot. Uh, these greenhouses, the nursery uh, by Gwendal, this is cross-platform, so anybody can take advantage of using these mods. And let's just go ahead and pull up, and thankful to the brilliance of the Universal Auto Load mod, my favorite auto load mod in the game. Bada boom, bada bing, and we've got trees on the trailer. Gotta love that. Or bushes, or shrubs, or however you want to, uh, whatever you want to classify them as. But that's what I love about the Universal Auto Load mod, is it generally just doesn't care what you want to load. It just wants to know where it is and load it. So I haven't tested this. This is the cell point. And actually, I didn't show you all the cell point. I apologize for that. So if we go into production and selling points, you will see here is the greenhouse and nursery mod cell point. It's $5,000. It's just a little, you know, a little cell point that you can set down on the side of the road. Like so. Easy. Very, very easy. And I'm just going to pull up here. And it looks to me like it is... Unload. Ooh, I was a little closer, wasn't I? Let's pull away from here. Let's go check out what I did wrong. I'm going to turn on the uh, super strength. Oh, no, they're selling. Very, very good. Let's put you down nice, though. Oh, yeah, I see it selling up in the right-hand corner. It's just kind of taking all that aloe vera in. And there you go. Six grand for that aloe vera plant alone, I believe. Not too shabby at all. Let's go grab uh, our cabbage and flowers. Good time to test the old auto load on these as well. Just pull up alongside here. It may not want to pick those up. Make sure I'm using my right. My Oh, start loading is left shift R. There we go. I just... That was user error. There we go. Picked up all of our cabbage. Picked up all of our flowers. We can go over. See if we can get these sold as well yep there they go very nice twelve and a half thousand dollars worth of flowers and cabbage there let's go over and pick up our bonsais and what else is over on this guy? So it was a bonsai. Was it cypress? We'll find out here. There we go. Actually, I forget what they were. So we've got bonsai. Yeah, I think cypress and eucalyptus. That's right. We'll chug these over to the... Uh, Cell point. I just love the way these look. I love the way Gwendal uh, set up these crated, the way they're crated, and and the shipping uh, type container things. And it just, you know, it just makes mods like this a nice finishing touch. Really nice attention to detail. Much appreciated uh, for sure. And we'll just scooch on in here. Looks like they're selling right off the trailer as well. I can just be a little bit more patient. And they should all go for us. Still counting up the cash. You gotta love that. You can just sit and enjoy watching your bank account 
grow and grow and grow. There it goes. And that's the end of that. And that was another, well, just over nine grand for that. Let's take a little closer look at the cell points. So we've got the aloe vera. Is that the cypress? Aloe vera and cypress. Bamboo. Over here, you've got your cabbage. Take a look at our flowers that being unboxed. Got the hanging flowers up here. Really nice looking like roadside stand kind of a thing. There's our bonsai. Very, very nice. Really nice mod. Really nice job. Really appreciate the efforts that went into this for sure. So this is the... I want to make sure I get this correct. It is the Greenhouse and Nursery mod by Gwendal. And it is cross-platform. Not very large. 22 and a half meg. So not too bad. Takes up a little bit of room to put down. But uh, it takes very few products. Um, solid fertilizer, water and seeds for uh, for some and you're off to the races so hope you enjoyed this mod minute or so hope you're having a great week and thanks for joining me again make sure and take care of yourselves most importantly let's take care of each other and i'll see you soon